We all know what today is about. We're gonna see how this thing performs until it explodes, which is probably what's gonna happen. So let's see what happens here. Oh, let me get my scale turned on. All right, here we go. where the heat soaking is getting to it is it melting is it getting warm oh you can smell that motor do you see the motor smoking all right let's blow it up So we know it can handle the load for a little while. <laughs> yeah, unplug the battery. Oh, that was fun. That was fun. And all I have to do is just switch the motor. Actually, you know what came loose? It's the spindle. That's pretty much it. Because we designed it. I designed it. It must have gotten warm, went through the spindle, and the hub got soft. You can see how the hub is soft. Okay, so we know the 600 kV isn't going to be like 100% reliable as far as torque goes. Because the heat transferred to the PETG. <laughs> and now we have a floppy blade. But it didn't explode. It burnt the motor up, I'm sure. But... It didn't explode. I, I fully expected it to explode, but it was pushing some air. So I think if we get another motor around the same size and lower the KV, that'd be cool. Just drop that KV by half. And I think we'd have something. But so far, <laughs> that was fun. We gotta do that again. I don't know how much weight it was pulling. We'll have to take the scale. But yeah, that, that was that was kind of that was a successful run. That was fun. And uh, we know that it got hot. I'm gonna take a closer look at these amps um, on the replay. So we can figure out where it actually overamped. Um, so I think that was a 
80 amp motor or is it 66 amp maybe I, don't, I can't remember I'll go look up this vex it's the turbo uh, brand and it's a 600 kV um, these were bound to have heavy load on these but uh, they were pushing some air so I mean I pushed that whole thing back back there which is kind of cool uh, the whole tent so yeah we got to check this out for sure I hope you liked it <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the video it didn't get the explosion we were looking for the blades which does prove that it's a fairly rigid design we just need to lower the KV on the motors and uh, we'll have ourselves a definite air pusher because this is just this is just heat soaking from look I can pull the blade right off yeah see just heat soaking from the motor but the whole the blades and everything survived that is so cool so and I didn't glue these in so I can knock these back out pull the motor out of the bag and you know we're good to go for another run and just print another one of these hubs and um see the inside look at the inside how it's just melted through <laughs> that was epic loved it tons of fun let's unhook this here <sighs> definitely gonna do that again that was a good run I think if we had a lower KV motor and um, some stronger material, that would have survived. Or if I would have printed it full infill, it probably would have survived even more. But uh, yeah, that was... <laughs> that was cool. All right, guys, if you liked it, please subscribe. Like it, share it. This was just a side project I wanted to just kind of print out and do. And um, now we have a platform where we can actually do more experiments like this. And until then, um, I'll keep working on the big girl over here. Printing pieces and making sure she's ready to go. So stay tuned for all of that because that's coming up. And thank you all again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you like, subscribe, share it, join up. All right, I appreciate all of you. Till next time, I am DPC.